<clears throat> going to remove the glass, which is to protect it from evaporating, really more than anything, and fill this thing up. Put it back. And uh, we'll time lapse this just to see exactly what's going to uh, happen over time. So we just saw it melt <clears throat> in the acetone. This plastic has become just so fragile I can barely lift it up. But interestingly, there are some metal pieces loading here in the corner. And I believe those must have come from down here where the uh, chip was. So here's the chip that I found at the bottom of that beaker. That's the part you might see on the surface of the credit card near one end. It's usually really shiny. This has corroded a bit. I'm going to turn it over here. And on the bottom you can actually see the chip material. It's covered in some plastic. It's right in the center there. That's the actual chip. And then the contacts are on the outside here, these six dots, which then are attached to this side. So, pretty amazing, actually. I always wonder what these look like. And there you go, the inside of a chip and a credit card. All right, that was fun.